We're mining year six, we're on to our fourth English lesson of this week, and our learning objective today is to take part in a debate. Now, this is going to be difficult for you at home, so we have kind of altered it a little bit so that you are visually reading the debate between different characters and coming up with a for and against argument that will support you in your writing of the balanced argument for this unit of work. So, as we move into today's lesson, we need to be thinking really carefully about what arguments we have got now. So we have got a well-rounded view of for and against. And from yesterday's lesson, you should have been able to add quite a lot of different opinions for, for and against. So I'd like everybody now to just add one more argument for screen time for children and one more argument against screen time for children. So pick out a really strong argument for and a really strong argument against to add to this table. So in our quest to get even more information about people's opinions for and against screen time for children, we're going to conduct an interview. Now, this interview will be with Mrs. Coulson and Mrs. Courtney, but actually they both have very different views on this matter. So what I want you to do now is before we do our interviews, I'd like you to note down some questions that we could ask them. So what questions could we ask? Now, if we know that they've got different viewpoints, you might ask things like, how do you think screen time affects children? Do you think there should be a set amount of time for screen usage for children? What age do you think that children should be allowed to use their phones freely? Do you agree with children using computers for learning? Those kinds of questions will help you to get clear and direct viewpoints from both Mrs. Coulson and Mrs. Courtney. You can ask the same question to both of them because they've got different viewpoints. They should come back with different answers. So you need to now write down three questions which could be asked in the interview about this topic. And then there will be a live time where we can interview Mrs. Courtney and Mrs. Coulson using your questions and you'll be able to note down the answers. So. The Mrs. Courtney and Mrs. Coulson interview will go ahead today on Friday and I will notify you of the time of that. You should have received it already. But you need to be prepared to note down their answers and opinions and be prepared to ask at least one of the questions you have noted down. But before we start the interview, you need to think carefully about how you will take notes. So, for example, are you going to do a table that's for and against? Are you going to do a table that's Mrs. Courtney and Mrs. Coulson at the top? Or are you just going to note down different viewpoints in bullet points? Be prepared to write down your answers. And what I'd like you to do is you're going to submit your notes from this session to Edmodo to be marked. But all of this, as well as the for and against arguments from yesterday and your research, are things that are going to help you with your writing. So make sure you keep these for next week when it comes to doing the writing.